Secrets of Sand Hill Road, Venture Capital and How to Get It. Eric Rees, Virgin Books, 2019. Many useful tips to understand what venture capital investment is, in particular according to US standards. Fine-tune the presentation of your project to help you appear more interesting. Create a fruitful collaboration between venture capitalists, VCs, and funded companies. The author Eric Ries is a young entrepreneur and world-famous speaker. He is one of the founders of the IMVU Social Network and author of Startup Lessons Learned, a very popular blog in the United States. From his numerous experiences and mistakes, he developed the Learn Startup Method, which has become a global movement. He is currently an advisor for startups, large companies, and venture capital firms. Scott Cooper, managing partner of Andreessen Horowitz, is one of the founders of the Venture Capital Fund of Stanford University. A venture capital expert, he teaches courses and does consulting and was president of the board of directors of the National Venture Capital Association. The role of venture capital in the US economy. Like Wall Street for bankers, like Hollywood Boulevard for actors, Sand Hill Road is the entrepreneur's paradise. This is home to the offices of venture capital companies that move the engine of the startup world in the US and in the world. Innovative entrepreneurship is a great risk, but also an opportunity that the US economy cannot do without. According to a Kaufman Foundation study carried out in 2010, startups are almost entirely responsible for the 25 million jobs created between 1977 and 2010. The management of the funds that feed this breeding ground of ideas and well-being is obviously delicate. The relationship between entrepreneurs and VCs is not always simple, in part due to the lack of knowledge. It is important to be clear about the process that guides the choice of investments in order to reach a fruitful agreement between the parties. As partners interested in starting a profitable business, Entrepreneurs and investors must learn to get to know each other, to trust each other, and to collaborate. Signing a check is just the beginning, not the end, for the VC. Their work continues by supporting the company in selecting the talents necessary for its growth, by putting it in contact with other production companies, and by sharing experiences. As for the entrepreneur's job, only he can do it. A VC is only truly worth their salt when they choose good entrepreneurs to support. One thing above all, according to a 2015 study done by Ilya Strebulayev of Stanford University and Will Gornell of the University of British Columbia, 42% of all US companies that have been listed since 1974 had been financed by venture capital. The interaction between VCs and entrepreneurs begins with the pitch phase and goes all the way to the IPO, initial public offering or acquisition. This is a difficult path to follow and the asymmetry of information can create serious problems for their relationship, which can be compared to a marriage. Just like in a marriage, success is tied to knowledge and to mutual understanding. The first VC to open its doors to entrepreneurs, in the true sense of the term, was Y Combinator. Born in 2005, Y Combinator created a model that made startups grow, and this model became very popular. YC, as it is known in the sector, selects a group of startups and hosts them in a single large space for a period of three months supporting them with tutors, providing training, and stimulating the sharing of skills and experiences. YC has cultivated a generation of entrepreneurs, walking them step by step through the process of launching their startups, and has created an ecosystem capable of supporting the development of over 1,600 companies, including Airbnb, Coinbase, Instacart, and Dropbox. The Financial Characteristics of Venture Capital Venture capital has replaced banks as investors of innovative entrepreneurship after the serious 2007 crisis. The substantial change is that we no longer work through the creation of debts. Financing is inequity, that is, equity investments. 
the VC finances in exchange for acquiring partial ownership of the company. It is a kind of bet on the future value of the company that is being financed. From a technical point of view, the VC is an asset class, an investment category to which a part of the investment assets are allocated. For example, bonds are an asset class, as are public market shares. To build a balanced portfolio, investors often choose to invest a portion of their money in bonds or shares of listed companies. Hedge funds, VC funds and acquisition funds are asset classes which take longer than necessary to generate interest, for example, the stock market. Traditional investment leads to small advantages from numerous, possibly all, shares in portfolios, while the VC provides the opposite. Out of many companies, only a few will be exceptionally profitable, and it is by investing in many that you can intercept the right subjects. Jokingly, Isabella di Castiglia is said to have been the first VC. She provided Columbus with everything he needed for his project to open a new route to the Indies, and he returned having discovered the Americas. Financing an impossible feat is risky, but when you are successful, the return is very high, and this is called asymmetric return. Venture capital investment is a small business compared to other financial asset classes. In 2017, which was a great year, it reached $84 billion, very little compared to the $450 billion invoiced by the acquisitions industry as a whole in that same year. But the impact it is capable of causing is far more important than its weight, if we consider that the five largest American companies based on capital, Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google were all financed through VC. How VCs decide where to invest. The early stage offers little data to rely on. Sometimes all that is available is a presentation with a future business model. The basis cannot be quantitative, but qualitative, and takes advantage of analyses conducted on three elements, people, product, and market. People. You invest more in the team than in the idea. If you start from the assumption that the idea has no bosses, the team that will best develop it will win the competition. How do you get them to choose you? You must remind yourself that you are a product-first company, and not a company first. The first revolves around the project. We are looking for the right people for that specific goal. The second, on the contrary, is made up of a team that has chosen what to focus their potential on. Product. The product defined in the project is not the one that will be presented to the market, much less the final version. For this reason, it is essential that it is not static, that it shows an intrinsic ability to evolve. Another element of evaluation, its revolutionary nature. To change people's habits, something must be 10 times better than what is already there, or 10 times cheaper. Ben Horowitz, co-founder of the VC Andreessen Horowitz, explains that if a product is going to interest him, it must be like aspirins compared to vitamins. Vitamins are potentially useful for your health, but it takes time for them to do their job. If you have forgotten to take them and you are halfway between home and the office, there's no way you would run back to get them. Aspirin, on the other hand, is all you want when you have a headache. It solves your problem quickly. The products that have the biggest advantages over the status quo are aspirins, and they are what VCs are looking for. Market Made popular by Steve Blank and Eric Ries, the product market fit, meaning the correspondence between product and market, describes the situation in which consumers recognize the problem that the product solves and are so satisfied that they no longer want to give up that specific solution. Airbnb has achieved this fit, just like Pinterest, Facebook and Instagram did. As consumers, we can hardly recall what we did before these products existed. An important actor on the scene, the limited partners. Limited partners are the subjects who actually put up the investment money. In the US, when a private company wishes to raise funds to finance its operations, it must comply with securities laws and must therefore turn to entities that comply with the definition of accredited investor.
It is necessary to know them, because without them, the VCs simply would not exist. The main ones are Foundations Capitals are maintained and consolidated through investments and charitable work continues. To maintain their free tax status, foundations must spend 5% of their funds per year to support their mission. So the returns produced by capital must exceed this threshold to ensure the enduring conservation of the foundation. State or corporate pension funds Both IBM and the Californian Pension System for Teachers invest to ensure the economic well-being of its underwriters. Family offices Their goals are set by individual families, often including charity for the conservation of wealth. Sovereign wealth funds they serve to protect against financial reliance on a single asset. In the specific case of many Middle Eastern countries, sovereign wealth funds invest part of their oil profits in other activities. University endowments Stanford, Yale, Princeton, MIT, in general almost all universities, raise funds from alumni and invest them for economic returns that can help their growth and progress. Let's look at a specific case, that of Yale University. Its fund, until 1967, was mainly composed of treasury bonds. Theirs was a conservative position that changed, achieving incredible results. In 1985, the fund was around $1 billion. 30 years later, we find it at $25 billion. Of course, this is also due to the growth in donations, but the fund itself produced investment returns of 8% net, one of the highest ever seen among university funds. 16% of the portfolio relies on venture capital, 5% more than that of other universities, and produced returns of 77% per year. So basically, for 20 years, Yale has been doubling the capital it invests in venture capital. Launch a startup with venture capital. Let's forget the romantic dream. It all begins with the lawyer or the notary. It is fundamental for the future for us to understand how to set up in business. This also includes figuring out if you should accept investment from a VC and if so, how much. The key rule of VC investment is that everything starts and ends with one factor the size of the market. It does not matter how intellectually stimulating your idea is if it cannot be scaled to the required size. What if your market isn't huge? It won't be enough to attract this type of capital. VC is not the right tool for your business. Now, assuming you made the decision to raise venture capital, how much money should you collect? The right answer is, Collect the amount that allows you to safely reach the fundamental stages to be conquered before embarking on the next gathering of funds, just like climbing a ladder, one run at a time. In other words, think about the next round while you are working on the current one. What will you have to show the next investor to convince them that you have done a good job of reducing risks and accomplished enough to deserve their money? Don't go too far. If you allow yourself or a VC to overestimate the company today, you are raising the stakes for tomorrow, which is not profitable. The evaluation must reflect where you are, because your evaluation of the financing must be consistent with the success story you have told and will tell about the company. How to get the most out of your chance to make your pitch Angel businesses or seed investors, meaning subjects specialized in financing companies when they take their very first steps, are a good entry point. The environment is somewhat symbolic. Both sides have advantages. If an angel-funded startup manages to make a good funding cycle through VC, everyone will make money. Another good entry point is lawyers. Alternatively, try to meet someone who can get you a meeting. There are hundreds of blogs, books, podcasts, and conferences that teach the art of networking. Now you know what they are for. It can be challenging, but if you can't find a creative way to reach a VC, how are you going to be able to reach the senior executive of a potential client? Your job, once you get the appointment, is to convince the VC with a good presentation. To do this, there are five essential points to focus on. The size of the market. 
Do not assume that VCs understand the market or its potential size. Remember that estimating market size is easier when a new product is positioned as a direct replacement for an existing product. You have to paint the picture that will allow them to answer yes to the question, if I invest in this company and the CEO, usually the founder, and his team do everything they say they will do, can this company become large enough to produce an exceptional return? The team. Once you have proved that the market opportunity is big enough, you need to answer the potential question, why you? Remember that at this level, the analysis is qualitative, not quantitative. As uncomfortable as it is, you have to turn the spotlight on your team and on yourself as CEO. In particular, what is it that makes you a uniquely qualified person to conquer the market? Once this is done, you must convince yourself that you are the person who can bring together the necessary team. Nobody, however brilliant, can do it alone. You must therefore show your natural leadership skills. An entrepreneur's storyteller skills are considered by people like Ben Horowitz to be an excellent indicator of their potential success. The product. Great CEOs find a way to illustrate their vision and share it. Nobody expects you to be a fortune teller capable of predicting the precise needs of the market but the process by which you created your plan will be evaluated. What data did you get from the market? How is this product 10 times better or cheaper than existing alternatives? The go-to market, market strategy. Don't make the mistake of underestimating this point. How will you acquire customers? Does the business model support this acquisition mechanism profitably? At high level, this information must be included in the presentation because it is fundamental for the long-term performance of the business. Plan the next round of fundraising. You must clearly explain the milestones you intend to reach with the money you are collecting in this round. Remember that VCs evaluate the level of risk that they are taking even by projecting to the next round. Are you collecting enough money to reach the goals you have set? so that the next round brings new money and a substantially higher rating than the current one? Substantially higher is a value that depends very much on the market in which you operate. But in general, you want to aim for an evaluation that is approximately twice that of the previous round. The work of the board of directors. Among the many pages of the agreement, which the lawyers will be more comfortable with than you, there is one part that you should spend more time and attention on the one relating to the board of directors. Remember, for example, that this is the body that appoints and fires the CEO. In other words, you. The CEO is responsible for day-to-day -day operations and the long-term vision, but the board plays an important role in providing orientation and reviewing the strategy. This does not mean that the board dictates the strategy, in particular that of the product. Its members do not have the necessary detailed knowledge and generally recognize that. Much of your work will be helping them do their job well. What should you do when bad things happen? When things are not going as expected, it is difficult to start with a recapitalization proposal, so you might be oriented towards a bridge loan, an infusion of liquidity by the investors already present in the form of an extension of the last financing cycle. Unfortunately, this solution is often the worst because it does not solve the basic problem. We are where we are and something must change. If for some reason the company has not developed the business according to the planned expectations, the plan will need to be reviewed from all angles. It will not be enough to just add more money to the equation. The happy ending. We have reached the exit. The term exit has a symbolic meaning since both in the case of IPO, initial public offering, and in that of an acquisition, the company moves on to another phase of its life. The VCs leave their position as owners because they have made their journey and achieved their goal. Invest early, promote increased value of the investment, and reach a point of being able to return capital and margin to their limited partners. Good VCs help entrepreneurs to achieve their business goals by providing guidance, support, and a network of relationships. They limit their interference with the board of directors and let the company be guided by those who live and breathe it.
they recognize that, in the end, the entrepreneur and their team build companies destined to become icons. Only by doing so will they remain important players and will not become dinosaurs, destined to be supplanted by alternative forms of financing, such as crowdfunding, collective financing. Quotes A cardinal sin of venture investing is getting the category right, but the company wrong. Make new mistakes. It means learn fast, learn new things. Science advances one funeral at a time. Max Planck Take-home message Venture capital investment is a financial tool that has proved successful for the growth of innovative companies, but it is not applicable to all entities. The fundamental requirement that a startup must possess to attract this type of financing is market size. If the product is valid, but the target market is a niche market, it will be difficult to attract a VC. In addition to this, the product must be able to be 10 times better or cheaper than those already existing in that sector. Finally, the human factor, the founders in particular, is very important because people are a key element in the evaluation.